These are the 20 best mini PCs of 2024, and we, we're gonna rank each of them from god tier to trash tier. Links to all of these mini PCs mentioned in this video will be in the description below. Number 1. Lenovo ThinkCenter M715Q The Lenovo ThinkCenter is a com compact beast that packs a bunch. It comes with an AMD Ryzen Pro processor, which is great for multitasking and light productivity work. I love how easy it is to upgrade. You can pop in more RAM or swap out the storage without breaking the sweat. However, the integrated graphics might not cut it for heavy gaming or intense video editing. For small businesses or home offices looking for a reliable space-saving PC, this is a solid choice. I'm putting this bad boy in the gray tier. It's not mind-blowing, but it definitely gets the job done well. Number 2. Minis Forum Ajax ADG The Minis Forum Ajax ADG is a mini PC that punches way above its weight class. This thing is rocking an AMD Ryzen 7 5800H processor and a discrete Radeon RX 6600M GPU. That's some serious horsepower in a tiny package. It's perfect for gamers who want a compact rig or content creators who need some extra oomph. The only downside, it can get a bit toasty under heavy load. But hey, that's the price of power, right? I'm definitely slapping this little monster in the gray tier. It's not quite god level, but it's pretty darn close. Number 3. Intel NUC 13 Pro Intel's really stepped up their game with the NUC 13 Pro. This mini PC is packing some serious heat with its 13th gen Intel Core processors. I'm talking blazing fast performance in a form factor smaller than a book. It's got Thunderbolt 4 ports, which is awesome for connecting high-speed peripherals. The only bummer? The integrated graphics might not cut it for serious gaming or heavy video editing. But for productivity and general use, this thing flies. I'm putting the NUC 13 Pro in the gray tier. It's a fantastic little machine that'll handle most tasks with ease. Number 4. HP Z2 Mini G9 Now, the HP Z2 Mini G9 is an interesting beast. It's got some serious power under the hood with options for Intel Core i9 processors and NVIDIA RTX professional graphics. This thing is built for workstation-level tasks in a compact form factor. I love how customizable it is. You can really tailor it to your needs, but here's the thing. It can get pretty loud under load, and it's not exactly cheap. For professionals who need workstation power in a small package, it's great, but for general users, it might be overkill. I'm placing this one in the good tier. It's impressive, but the noise and price keep it from greatness in my book. Number 5. HP Elite Desk 705 G4 This little beast packs a punch with its AMD Ryzen Pro processor and decent graphics cap capabilities. It's great for office work and can handle some light gaming too. The compact size is a big plus, but the lack of USB-C ports is a bit of a bummer. Overall, I'm putting this one in the good tier. It's solid for business use, but not quite top of the line. Number 6. B-Link Sear 5 Max Now, the B-Link Sear 5 Max is where things get exciting. This mini PC is rocking an AMD Ryzen 7 5800H processor, which is insane for its size. It's perfect for video editing, gaming, and pretty much anything you throw at it. The price point is pretty sweet too. I'm definitely slapping this bad boy in the gray tier. It's a powerhouse that won't break the bank. Number 7. MSI QB5 It's... well, it's okay. It's got an Intel Core i3 processor, which is decent for basic tasks and light productivity. The compact design is nice, and it's pretty quiet. But let's be real, it's not winning any performance awards. I'm sticking this one in the average tier. It'll get the job done, but don't expect miracles. Number 8. Building Sear 7 This thing is a beast. It's packing the latest AMD Ryzen 7 7840HS processor with a vapor chamber cooling system. The performance is off the charts, and it can handle heavy workloads like a champ. The only downside? It's a bit pricier than its siblings, but man, the power to size ratio is insane. I'm putting this in the great tier without hesitation. It's a mini PC that punches way above its weight class. Number 9. Apple Mac Mini M2 This little powerhouse is something else. The M2 chip inside this thing is blazing fast, handling everything from basic tasks to video editing like a champ. It's super quiet too, which is awesome for your home office setup. The only bummer is the price can climb pretty quickly if you want more storage or RAM. But for most people, even the base model is gonna be plenty powerful. I'm putting this bad boy in god tier without hesitation. It's just that good. Number 10. Asus Expert Center PN64 Alright, so this was a bit of a mixed bag. The Asus Expert Center PN64 has some decent specs with its 12th gen Intel processor and it's got a nice compact design. But here's the thing. It's kind of lacking in the USB department, which is a bummer in 2023. It's not terrible, but it's not exactly setting the world on fire either. I'm gonna have to slot this one into average tier. It gets the job done, but there are better options out there. Number 11. 
MSI Pro DP21 12M 407 US. And now we're talking. This little MSI mini PC packs a punch with its Core i3 processor and it's got a ton of ports which is super handy. It's also pretty affordable which is always a plus in my book. The only downside is the small SSD, but that's easily upgradable. For the price and performance, I'm feeling pretty good about putting this in the great tier. It's a solid choice for home and small business users. Number 12. Minis Forum UM690S Okay, so the Minis Forum UM690S is rocking an AMD Ryzen 9 6900HX, which is sounds impressive on paper. And yeah, it can handle some light gaming, which is cool. But here's the thing, it's a bit pricey for what you get, and the build quality isn't exactly top-notch. It's not bad, but it's not great either. I'm gonna have to put this one in average tier. It's got potential, but there are better options in this price range. Number 13. Apple Mac Studio M2 Ultra This thing is an absolute beast. The Mac Studio with M2 Ultra is like having a supercomputer on your desk. It's insanely powerful, handling everything from 8K video editing to complex 3D rendering without breaking a sweat. The only downside, it's pretty pricey. So it's really for professionals who need that kind of horsepower. But if you've got the cash and the need for speed, this is the cream of the crop. I'm putting this bad boy in god tier without hesitation. Number 14. Geekcom Mini IT13 This little powerhouse packs a punch with its 13th gen Intel Core processor. It's great for content creators and even some light gaming. The best part, it's way more affordable than the Mac Studio, but still delivers solid performance. Sure, it's not quite as beastly, but for most people, it's more than enough. The only real drawback is that it can get a bit noisy under heavy load. All things considered, I'm slapping this one in the great tier. Number 15. JMK Tech Nugbox K6 Now the JMK Tech Nugbox K6 is a bit of a mixed bag. On the plus side, it's got a decent AMD Ryzen 7 7840HS processor and can handle everyday tasks and some light gaming. It's also pretty compact, which is nice. But here's the thing, it's not really a standout in any particular area. It's just okay. The performance is decent, but not mind-blowing. And there are better options out there for the price. I'm gonna have to put this one in the average tier. Number 16. Geekcom A7 The Geekcom A7 is a serious contender. This mini PC is rocking an AMD Ryzen 9 7940HS, which is no joke. It's got enough power to handle pretty much anything you throw at it. From video editing to some serious gaming. The best part? It's way more affordable than the Mac Studio. But still packs a serious punch. Sure, it might not have the best brand cache as Apple, but who cares when you're getting this kind of performance? I'm feeling bold, so I'm putting this one right up there in God tier, alongside the Mac Studio. Number 17. Minis Forum Ajax 99G This little powerhouse packs a punch with a Ryzen 9 6900 Ajax and a Radeon RX 6600M, which is pretty impressive for its size. It's great for 1080p gaming and can handle most tasks you throw at it. The downside, it can get a bit noisy under load, and it's not the cheapest option out there. But for those wanting a compact gaming grid, this is a solid choice. I'm putting this bad boy in the great tier because it offers a lot of bang for your buck. Number 18. B-Link Mini S12 Pro This tiny machine is rocking an Intel N100 processor, which isn't going to blow your socks off, but it's surprisingly capable for everyday tasks. It's super quiet, energy efficient, and comes with Windows 11 Pro pre-installed. The downside? Don't expect to do any serious gaming on this thing, but for basic computing needs or as a home theater PC, it's a great little device. I'm slotting this into the great tier because it's an excellent value for what it offers. Number 19. Intel NUC 12 Extreme This thing is a monster in a tiny package. It's got a 12th gen Intel Core pro desktop processor and can fit a full-sized graphics card. The performance is insane and it's super upgradable. The downside? It's not cheap and it can get a bit toasty under load. But if you want desktop level performance in a compact form factor, this is your jam. I'm putting this in the god tier because it's just that good. Number 20. Asus 2024 NUC 13 Extreme This thing is like the NUC 12 Extreme's bigger, better brother. It's got the latest 13th gen Intel processors, supports up to 64GB of DDR5 RAM, and can house some seriously beefy GPUs. The cooling system is improved and it's got a ton of connectivity options. The downside? It's expensive as hell, and it's a bit larger than previous NUCs. But for raw power in a small package, this thing is unbeatable. I'm putting this in the god tier because it's basically a full-blown gaming PC in a compact form factor. So there you have it. These are my personal ratings for all of the most popular mini PCs of 2024. Links to all of these mini PCs will be in the description below. Do you agree with me on these rankings or not? Leave a comment down below and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.